what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to some more jojo's bizarre adventure if you guys ever know i've taken serious uh <laughs> hiatus right um so stuff happened that's all i can say stuff happened um i don't want to go over that stuff because i just want to get into these reactions um <clears throat> so i know we got six more episodes left in um starters crusaders we're gonna knock that out right now in this one session these will be out um tomorrow today is thursday tomorrow is friday um might be later today if i can get them done at a at a certain time because i have to record a bunch of stuff today because if it's too late like if i finish recording at you know like 11 12 p.m then they'll be out tomorrow morning but if I get them out early enough, because I'll probably render it out first, um, then, yeah, if everything is ready by, say, 9, then I would definitely um, jump into that. But I have a ton of stuff to record today because I have to get, um, I want to have the stuff that was supposed to be recorded earlier this week that I didn't get to record because of stuff I did you know put out the post but if you guys don't know you can go check out the post on the community post the last one that i did um letting you guys know what was going on and why i didn't get a chance to record um monday through wednesday this week so guys let's jump into it we know that the man the middle air we're in the mansion now they just defeated um i think it's darby's darby's brother um trying to to remember you know because it's it's been like two weeks since we did the last one um so we going in super reaction for jojo's today so thank you guys so much for all the love that you sent back my way if you did um appreciate it let's go watch these episodes six episodes to go and then we'll jump into diamond is unbreakable at, as soon as possible whenever that happens <laughs> right so let's go man I will see you guys for the review. What's going on guys? Welcome back. This will be a review for Stardust Crusaders and also these final six episodes that I just watched. Um, I have to say, man, it was a great journey. It was a great journey. Um... I wouldn't say it's the best part of Jojo, but it was a great journey. That final fight really was hyped. I, I liked it very much. One of the better fights in the series for sure. Dio versus Jotaro was very down. I don't know about the ending though. Like bringing back um, Joseph, bringing back Joseph with Dio's blood didn't really make sense to me. <laughs> but you know, Joseph is back. So I, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I don't know, but I'm good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, Holly is revived. So maybe that's proof that Dio is actually dead. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Dio just is just the, that character. You know what I'm saying? That always just comes back in some shape or form. So I, I don't know, man. The, the transfusion thing of blood thing like I, I didn't agree with that because I'm like you're just trying to bring Dio back at this point because it's like it's Dio's blood like how does that not affect him in some way you know what I'm saying so that's the only thing like I'm gonna keep an eye out for to see if they do bring back Dio in in, in the form of him trying to take over Joseph's body totally understandable but if they leave it at that and how this ends i might have a problem with it because it's probably one of those things where where, where it's just like it just don't make sense it doesn't <laughs> you know what i'm saying as in you know what i'm saying i understand what jotaro is saying too is like i don't want to hear nobody talking about things are impossible because we've seen so many different things these past you know you know th these past days or, or or two weeks over the two weeks that we've been traveling we've seen so much impossible things like you know so i get it so let's talk about starters crusaders man um what is this part three i think it's part three right 
I think this is part three of the series. Um, is either part three or four? I, I don't remember exactly. But I'm going to give it... I'm going to give part three of this series a eight out of ten. I'm going to say that rating now and I'll leave it to the end. I'm going to give it an eight out of ten. And I'm going to tell you why I'm going to give it eight out of ten. Um, this season or this part of it it didn't really have a story it, the, the story was pretty straightforward for the most part you get what i'm saying i'm not saying it didn't have a story story or nothing was written i'm saying that compared to the first and the second the f first and the second one where we had um you know where we where we had jonathan and then we had joseph there was a story there was a lore you get what i'm saying there was lore you know in part three we introduced stands which is really really cool that part of it is really really good and that's why the, the rating is still up there you know um the, the there was no story for this season it was pretty much holly is sick dio is alive let's go kill dio save holly all right um stakes very high um stakes very high for this season People actually died. Characters that we've knew, known the whole time died. We lost Kakyoin and what's his name? Um, can't remember his name right now. <laughs> we lost Abdal and Iggy. I didn't expect them to kill Iggy. I, that was probably one of the most unexpected deaths in the series. I didn't expect them to kill Iggy. At least not in such a brutal way. Like, dude was kicking the crap out of Iggy, man. I'm, I'm like, damn, this is not for kids. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is not for kids. Um, so, I'm looking at it. I know a lot of people were talking about I'm watching the censored version. It didn't bother me much. Like, some of the things that were censored was absolutely unnecessary. Um, but otherwise it didn't bother me at all i you know you know it, it didn't take away from what i was watching at all um in my opinion i think they you know what i'm saying like i don't think it would have made that much of a difference if it if i was seeing that gore or not seeing it like it, it, i don't think it would have made that big a difference to me um you know because they, it didn't seem that obvious the way how they were censoring the stuff it didn't seem that obvious sometimes it was obvious but for the most part i don't think it was that obvious right so as i said man eight out of ten this season the stands really cool stands i think my favorite stand in the series is not even star platinum i think i think the world actually is my favorite stand even though we found out so late what it actually can do I think with the added, I think I think maybe we can I can say the world and Star Platinum because they're basically the same kind of stand, right? So, um, I think those two are my favorite because they they go hard, they go in hard. Um, they're the same kind of stand, so I guess in some way, shape, or form, I I, I like the look of Star Platinum better. So maybe Star Platinum is my favorite. Um. Uh, maybe it's because Joseph is old why his stand is I mean it's useful but it's not the most powerful there were some really interesting ones um you know like the one the the, the, the monkey one um there um there's a couple of them that were really interesting the guy crocodile Dundee guy that can you know Ben bolt Ben um, bullets um the one in the mirror like there was some really interesting way of showing off i think they're tarot cards if i'm not mistaken i think there are tar they're tarot cards right so dude that can pull himself into a dimension was really good too um there was a lot of good really good interesting stands that um you know what I'm saying? That really, 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 like, went above and beyond what you would expect for a, a power system in an anime. You know what I'm saying? So, 
it was really interesting. I think to this day that Hunter x Hunter still has the best power system in all of anime. I don't think anything even comes close to the possibilities of, you know what I'm saying, of, of, of Nen. So, I don't, I, you know, that's just my opinion. I don't know if anybody else agrees with me. Uh, I, I know that, I know other people agree with me, but I'm just saying like, um, I don't think I don't I don't think it's a it's a majority um, stance though I, I really don't think so like I don't think like most people in the anime community think that about Hunter x Hunter because um, I mean I can only judge and this is not just based on what I've watched I just believe that there's nothing out there that's going to top that I just that's just what I believe maybe you guys have experienced something that is better but I don't think you have. <laughs> I'm just saying. But when it comes on to, to JoJo, man, JoJo is just, it's top notch. You know what I'm saying? It's its top notch when it comes on to building you up to a a main event. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like you at WrestleMania. You know, you're watching all of these petty, petty, petty fights. You know what I'm saying? You'll get a good fight here and there, but you're there for the main event. Jotaro versus Dio. Dio is a very interesting character in this series. Um, if that's the last of him, it's going to be sad to see him go. But I don't think it is the last of him. I know if it is the last of him, you guys are going to let me know in the comment section if it is the last of him. But I don't believe it's the last of him. Dio is just that guy that never, I feel like, will never go away in the series. He just keeps coming back. He's the Orochimaru. You know what I'm saying? Of the series, it's like, yeah, he had a redemption. You know, Orochimaru has an, he, 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 had an redemption arc for him, but he just, he's still around. He's, you know what I'm saying? He's in Boruto. He's just around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was a baddie. You know what I'm saying? The first big villain in Naruto, and he's still around. You know, so, um, when it comes on to, to Jojo, man, it's just, it was a, great journey 48 episodes of just goodness you know what i mean like i think the first part of if i'm not mistaken because this is only um yeah it was a start of yeah because you have yeah so everything yeah okay so you got egypt art so everything worked out they got to egypt and they got the job done um as I told you guys, my favorite fight is with Iggy versus the 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 Falcon, or uh, is a Falcon or a, a bird? I don't remember. The, I can never remember the bird's name. Um, even though even though the other day on stream somebody reminded me what the name is, um, but I still can't remember it like, just off the top. But it was a great fight. One of my favorites in this part. So, I don't want to harp on for too much longer now. Um, as I said, there's not much to talk about as in what they dove into the story. This, the story of this season was pretty straightforward, right? It was just cool to see all these stands. You know what I'm saying? These are the kind of seasons that will... Um, that will... Um, it's good for people who just love straight-up entertainment like... You know what I'm saying? Like Dragon Ball, what Dragon Ball has become. It's fight after fight after fight after fight after fight. You know, we're fighting for this specific reason. That is why we are fighting, right? Um, no deep story. The only thing that I would say that differs in JoJo is that there's stakes. There's no stakes in Dragon Ball anymore. I don't know, even know why people watch Dragon Ball anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like... If you're watching it for story, ain't no story there. People try to break down stuff that don't even matter when all they're talking about is lore. They think they're talking about story. It's lore when you look at it, and that's why, you know, a lot of people that talk about Jack, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're just there for pure entertainment, fine, as I said before. But when people try to make it seem like Dragon Ball is, like, the best anime ever, nah, bruh. Dragon Ball is mid-tier at best. And, and and a lot of times people don't... Like, I've had these arguments with people before when people talk about Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball has become very mid. Very mid-tier. Like, 
not nowhere close maybe b you know what i'm saying like it's it's just not it anymore like if you're watching dragon ball you're just watching it for the fight and new transformation and whose ass goku is going to kick next like that's about it so it's fine if you watch it for that it's all good I'm not gonna fight you on that but to say that it's the greatest of all times Dragon Ball is not even close <laughs> to being in the goat of anime con conversation. Like, it shouldn't even be mentioned. Like, if you're talking about early Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, I can totally understand you, but it goes so much further than that that you can't, there's no, the balance is not there. It was good storytelling back in Dragon Ball and, Dra and Dragon Ball Z, but then it is taking up this whole new meaning now of just fight, 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 transformation, transformation. That's it. It's about it. But yeah. But JoJo has stakes. And that's what I like about it. Like people actually die in, 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 in JoJo. And it makes it, in my opinion, a better anime than Dragon Ball. And I know a lot of people is not going to agree with that take. But it's fine. I get it. It's just my opinion. I believe that that JoJo is actually a better anime than Dragon Ball, and they're the same genre in my opinion. It's the same genre of anime. They they present the same thing, but I think I think um, because of that one thing, stakes, it beats out Dragon Ball in my opinion. There's no stakes in Dragon Ball anymore. People. When people die, they just wish them back. Like, it, it's just like, and you know it's going to happen too. Unless the day comes when they present something in Dragon Ball that they're, they're like, oh, there's no way of bringing this person back. That is, uh, you know, a good person or, you know what I'm saying, like one of our main characters or something like that. Then there's going to be stakes, you know, like the Dragon Balls disappear forever or something like that. And maybe if they put something in, like if an angel kills you, Dragon Balls can't wish you back. But they're never going to introduce something like that because they want kids to keep watching the show. So, in my opinion, as I said, I think JoJo is a better anime than Dragon Ball. And that's big to say. It's big to say because Dragon Ball, we all know, is, if not the biggest anime, popularity-wise, of all time, arguably the most popular. So, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Sorry to go on for another five minutes, man, but here we are. Thank you guys so much for watching Thardust Crusaders with me, man. I appreciate it. Can't do any better. Six episodes. I don't know when I'm going to start Diamond is Unbreakable, but whenever it comes out, I'll let you guys know when. Um, it's not going to be next week. I'm going to tell you that off bat. So don't look for me to start Diamond is Unbreakable next week, but whenever I start, you'll know, okay? Um, going to take a small break. From JoJo's, I'm going to try to get some other things done in that time slot. So maybe I'll take it off the calendar for, for a little bit. Maybe, you know, two to three weeks. Maybe even a month I'll take it off. And then we'll jump back into some JoJo's. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to do something else in that slot for the time being. Maybe something a little bit more modern. Um, just to get some some views on the channel of something else. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But I am going to take a break from JoJo's for now. Till I can get the, especially since I, you know, I need to. I actually don't have the DVDs yet, where I can kind of rip them to the computer and everything. So once I get that done, then I'll be able to move forward with Diamond is Unbreakable. Um, so I do have to get the Blu-rays in. Boom! I know a lot of people are gonna be like, just download them. Man. No, not do <laughs> that. I'm not gonna do that this time around. Um, we'll just have to wait. Because I do want to have the collection also. Um, but we'll see how things go. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. Like, comment. You know what to do. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts. And I'm out. Peace.